Hey, what's up, everybody? Want to do a quick update video. You guys know that I've been working with the strength athlete and Bryce Lewis for the better part of this year. As part of that, I've also worked with a lot of other coaches over my time here on YouTube, like Garrett Blevins, who's still a good friend of mine, Dan Green, and even Mark Lobliner, who is a bodybuilding and macro style bro-ish coach. And one of the reasons why I've always liked to work with different coaches is because I learn a lot while doing that. And part of it is I like to take what I've learned and apply that to my own training both the good and the bad. So if something works well for me, I'll make sure that I implement that going forward. And if I find I don't really like something at all, I'll also make sure that I don't do that again. You can only fuck up so many times before you learn your lesson. And as part of that, I thought it might be interesting for you guys to hear what I'm currently doing with Bryce Lewis, which is a weekly video update. And it's a video for me only because I'm filming everything as is, and it's very easy for me to just throw some of these clips together and throw a voiceover on it. But in other experiences with coaching, I've done text updates, I've done phone calls, I've done video Skype calls, things of that nature. Uh, but I thought this would be interesting to you, so you might get some insight into how we're currently doing things and kind of to look at some of the things that I talk about, which is namely how my work week went as far as both mentally and physically, what's bothering me, what's going on, what's on my mind. I might ask for feedback on certain lifts. I might ask for form, technique, critiques, whatever the case may be. Or if there's something that I've noticed with the way that Bryce is doing something, I will point out stuff what's worked well or hasn't worked well for me in the past, and he'll take that into consideration as we move forward with our training program. So take a look at what's going on here. I'd love to hear your guys' feedback in the comments section below. I know a lot of people out there are interested in hiring a coach. Maybe you've worked with someone in the past, or maybe you're even doing coaching yourself. So I think it's an opportunity for a lot of us to learn. Either way, let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you next time. Hey brother, another week down and we're still feeling pretty good. So I don't know if that's a good sign that you're doing a good job or maybe it's a bad sign that we're setting myself up for some potential major letdown come meet time. But overall things have been feeling really good, especially on squats. It just seems to be clicking right now, which is great. Uh, on this particular session, which was a Sunday, one of the things I wanted to mention is this was before you and I spoke where you mentioned on the bench sets, everything below five, you wanted me to pause. What I had been doing the past couple of weeks is just pausing on the last rep. But after you and I talked, I did make sure to change that for all the other bench sessions here. Moving on to the next training day, which is Monday. One of the things I wanted to ask you about was the safety bar squats, only because right now the weight that we're using isn't anything heavy. The RPE on this is really light, and I know we're only increasing it like five kilos each week, so I'm not sure if maybe we need to readjust some of the numbers I'm using. Again, going light only because I wasn't really accustomed to squatting three times per week, and I wasn't sure how my lower back would feel uh, based off of all the workloads that we were doing, but it seems to be holding up pretty good. Speaking of that too, on these banded work bench press things, these have been feeling really nice. Uh, I haven't actually tested the band tension. Rogue tells me that these blue ones are kind of equal to 50 pounds each. I'm not sure if that's true, but I've really been liking how those have felt. And speaking about liking how things feel, we moved on to this next session with deadlift. Supposed to do a one by two at eight and a half, went with 255. These move pretty slow. I don't find I have much explosiveness with a stiff bar anyway, but they felt pretty good. Uh, and I think I had a couple of more reps in there for sure. So I might even have been a little bit conservative there. The bench session on this particular day felt really, really good. So I am really digging this four times per week benching, even though we're keeping the volume pretty low. I think it's been working fairly well. So moving on to the last session, I tagged you on Instagram already, but I wanted to explain this a little bit. We're supposed to do a one by three at RPE nine of whatever the weight might have been on squats. And during warmups, things felt really good. And initially going into this session, I had thought that I'd probably end up doing 225, but I wanted to bump it up a little bit because again, warmups felt so good. So I went with 230. And things felt so well during this set that I didn't think it was a good indication of RPE9. And instead of just doing another set, because that probably would have kicked my ass more, decided to just add in some reps until I felt I was at a nine. So I'm pretty happy about this as I think it was a PR in terms of workload at this weight. And then moved on to bench again, kind of similar one by three at nine. I think I was much more accurate here. Uh, bench felt good all week, but this number still was very tough, especially on that third rep, definitely slow. Uh, but I think the pausing will help in the long run, so I'm looking forward to doing that. As I think now, after this week's done, we have about four weeks before the competition. So look forward to hearing your thoughts, and I'll talk to you next week.